Welcome to Simply Fishing, featuring world-class angling. Hosted by Bob Mesacomer, nine-time world record holder. Simply Fishing is brought to you by Canadian Connection, your travel connection to quality fishing. Evan Rood, the world's most refined engines, with new Ficked Ram Injection. Odyssey, the pig family of lures for trophy fish. Pinpoint Positioning Systems, a Brunswick company, leading the network fishing revolution. Pose and Wardens, makers of the Awaker and Giant Jackpot. Ranger Boats, still built one at a time so you can fish hard, run strong, and rest easy. Shimano, Calcutta Reels and Compre Rods, fish the best, fish Shimano. Strike King Lures, now with the Magnum King for Pike and Muskie. Tough Line, premium braided fishing line. To catch the big ones, you've got to get tough. Now, here's Simply Fishing with Bob Mesacomer. You know, folks, what I think is really special about PhD is more than just getting out on the water. It's about education and interaction between students, instructors, and manufacturers. That being said, I need to introduce and properly thank Mike James from Ranger Boats, who was willing to show our students the importance of a good boat in catching big muskies. I'd also like to thank Steve Lindahl from Ranger Boats for spending more than his fair share of time on the docks when he could have been out on the water chasing his own big fish. Without these people, Muskie PhD would have never gotten off the ground, not to mention that, if not for them, boating a trophy muskie would be much more difficult. Another person I would like to thank is Robert Betts and his entire Shimano staff. Folks, these people came in and gave our students a chance to try new products like the new Calcutta TE300. And of course, all the manufacturers who couldn't be there and still donated their products to help our students in their quest for the ever elusive Muskie. You know, folks, one of the hardest things to grasp in muskie fishing is the ever-evolving technology such as rods, reels, lines, and lures, and how to use them, which is why so many students feel this element is one of the most important at PhD. Lure demonstrations highlight the midday's event, allowing instructors and manufacturers to educate the entire class on proper presentation techniques and elements, elements that, if understood and repeated properly, could result in the same successes experienced by Al Matthews, a second year graduate at PhD. A little knowledge gained during PhD, Al's lure choice of a swim whiz from Best Tackle and the assistance from his son John were all that were required for Al to successfully experience the thrill of his first 50 inch catch and release. And you can bet after that, there will certainly be more of the same in the Matthews household. Fifty inches, Pa. Oh, don't cut yourself. Don't Are you all right? I got him. Get him there. You're all right. Yeah, as long as he don't get you. You got a hunk of fish there. Oh, big guy. Oh. <laughs> Wonder if that's the one he's telling you about. Looks Come like it, huh? Come on, baby. Come on. Well, you'll be all right. He'll be all right. Well, I think you just went ahead. It's been 
Where's that going? Thank you. Just hold on to them as long as it takes. Thanks for the tip, Kyle. Well, hold on, he'll move. There he goes. There he goes, he's giving you the pin. storm is going to actually blow through and blow around us. You watch. I can't believe that it's going to miss us. It is. It's going to miss us. Joe, what we got out here is a little rock outcropping coming right here that has interest. You have a weed bed in here and then another rock reef that comes off those bulrushes there. Now this is uh, the spot that we had uh, earlier where we had the fish come up. Yeah, exactly. So what we're doing is running back on top of spots like that where we've seen fish. There's a little bit of cloud cover and stuff. That frontal system coming in could be all it takes. So that could turn those fish on, that uh, front coming through right now. It might, and it might make them actually more aggressive. Other than follow, they might eat, you know? Well, let's hope we can get one to eat here. Okay, I want to be able to throw them right into that cabbage right now, right on the edge of it. I don't want to throw away up in the middle of it, just right on the edge. over the edge of this thing and we'll turn the boat. We're gonna go back up that again. Okay. Put on that deep JP6. Okay. Oh here we go. Big fish. Got her. You want me up there? No 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 stay there. It wasn't the same fish, was it? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's down deep, though. Got one hook in the corner of her mouth. See that? Yeah. Okay, come to the net. Don't dive for it. Don't dive for it. Put the net down in the water. Okay. And just put it. Put the net down in the water. Go ahead and let it bellow. Get the rim down and I'm gonna bring her toward you. There she is. Man, she about, if that's the same fish, she about took that rod out of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna go back here. Could be another fish up in here. Because quite frankly, she hit me coming out of the weed bed, but she may have followed it all out because I ripped it so hard on her. Yeah. But let me cut the hooks on that lure. Keep that other rim up. She's okay, she's off now. All right, I'm gonna cut those hooks anyway, get them out of the net, if I need be. Okay, to ring her this way. Okay, just gonna hang on to her. Okay, nice fish. Yeah, sure is. You're okay right there. Okay. Beauty. <laughs> I don't know if she, if this is the same fish or not, but this is a pretty nice little fish on the crank. On another figure eight fish, these fish are coming down out of these weed beds, and uh, they're coming up out of underneath this algae line. I'll get her foot back. 
Yeah, it's about 44, 45. That's Is that 50, 44, 45? Yep, look at her. See her? Yeah. It's about 45, I'd say. Nice fish. Clean, too. Perfectly clean. Get Mr. Bonarigo one now. Go on, get out of here. Go on. There she goes. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's what you're trying to see right there. What we call thinning you off, saying goodbye. Oh, folks, don't go anywhere. PhD, Wiley Point, Lake of the Woods, Joe Bonarigo, a good friend of mine from Chicago. I've known Joe since the early 80s. I'm going to see if we can get him on one of these fish. Now, we just come up the lake about 12, 14 miles, come through one of the uh, little narrow cuts back there, stop on that weed bed with the reef right there, and bingo, you can do the same thing. Moving around sometimes will put fish in the boat for you. We've had about, let's see, we've had about a 454 up. We had one about 50 up. We had one about 47 up. We had one about 48 up. We got good fish going. Okay, we've got very little water here. Joe, it's very, very shallow here. There's weed beds all around us. So we're going to work this thing thoroughly through here. Sun's going down. We're starting to get that low light. Big weed bed in here. Very, very big weed bed. There's a couple of rocks in here, big boulders. Uh huh. We may bounce off a couple. All right. So don't stand too close to the edge of the boat, huh? Yeah, yeah, just sort of be careful. Water's dark, sky's getting low, so you can't see. You want to get that thing to pop. Watch what I'm going to I'm going to throw this jackpot out here. I'm going to explain to you how to do it. Watch this, OK? When you throw it out, let it hit the water. Gonna be working with slack line right here, right down at the side of the boat. Slack line. Yep. About six, eight inches of slack line down there that just keeps that lure jetting from side to side. Come on, Jackpot, do your thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Is that a good one, Bob? Oh, yeah, it's a nice fish. Nice fish. We're going to need a net. All right. What side? This side. <laughs> she just made that decision for me. Okay. You gonna bring them to me? Yep. Oh, that is a nice fish. Net down in the water and open it up. Come toward me. There you go. Lift it up. Lift her up. There you go. Okay, keep her down in the water. There you go. Look like where are we? We're gonna slide up on the reef, but we're okay. That's a 40 inch fish, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Just a second here, I'll take this out of here. That was so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Fish coming up after that jackpot. There she was. <laughs> yeah, she's about 43. Full of vinegar though. Yeah, she sure is. 
Look at that color of her. Those, those cheeks. Oh, she's got a little scar on her. Yeah, she's got a little scar on her. She's okay though. Oh, she's a beauty. I'll get her back. <laughs> yeah. We're geez. gonna get three of these things tonight. What do you think? Huh? I think we can do it. <laughs> We're right on top of the weed bed right now. Yep, see her? Beautiful. Go ahead, baby. Right back in the weed she came out of. See the weeds there? Oh yeah, right over. Look at that. Kevin Bullard. Kevin, come on up. Kevin, here's a four, Corsair 400A for you. Thank I want to you. say thank you. Thanks for coming. Did you have a good time? Out of ball. Out of ball. Couldn't have, couldn't have a better time. You going to come back next year? You bet. You bet. Sir. You bringing your boat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a little trouble, you know, with boat moving problems. So. This gentleman, we were sitting out there talking. These guys made a long haul to get here. They really have had a good time. He was telling me some of the stories he's had in the boat. And he said to me, next year, my boat. And that is so important because you do have boat control with the right boat. Yeah, you do. You know, it's been real windy. It's been tough. So. And they're not an easy fish to start with. No, but you know, it was all worthwhile. You know, once my buddy catches his biggest fish ever, he does, it's all good. Good enough. Give a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> is, that, is that a 40 inch in there, Ken? Yep. Look how much bigger this is than a 40 inch or caught a stone gun. Yeah, yep. so that's a lot bigger than the one the stone gun. How much do you think this fish weighs, Brett? Well, it's probably even low to mid. Okay, turn it on. Turn it on right, right there, and then you get a telephoto and wide angle button on the very bottom left here running the next Kevin Custer, come on yeah. up, Kevin. There you go. Kevin, on behalf of Shimano, again, I'd like to say thank you. And there's a course here for 100A for you. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Yes, I did. I had a great time. Coming back? Yes. Bring your boat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sure am. Did you have any close encounters? Did you catch fish? Yes. First day, we got into a few and caught my biggest ever. Yeah. And that was? Uh, 47. That's an absolutely beautiful fish. Now, we should make mention of this. This gentleman had an opportunity to fish with one of our instructors. Brett Erickson right there. We've talked to Brett. Brett, stand up. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what happened. Brett is the type of individual who knows this water. Brett took these people with him in the boat and put that boat in the right position and showed these guys how to handle the boat alongside some of this structure, giving them really an opportunity to catch that fish. That's correct. And that's what it's all about. That kind of information being shared from from instructor to angler is so important, and obviously you got your personal best. Give a round of applause. 47 inches, nice fit. Thank you. Kev, just be throwing me. Got him? Yep. Oh, he's a heavy one. Yep. That's my nicest baby. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta get this line off my hands quick. And I think that being said, said, that is the graduating class of Wiley Simply Fishing Strictly Muskie PhD. On behalf, again, of everybody that made it possible, sponsors, Ranger Bolt, Shimano, all the sponsors that are bannered outside, the instructors that we had up here, Matt, Brett, Kyle, uh, let's see here, um, Teddy, uh, Rich, of obviously helping out there a lot, all these people. Uh, the manufacturers that came in and supported us, without these people it could not happen. We will be back in 2002. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. you all travel home safely. We've still got a little bit of fishing yet tonight. There could be a monster caught yet. With that being said, we'll see you folks next year. Thank you. Simply Fishing would like to thank the following sponsors. Canadian Connection, your travel connection to quality fishing. Evan Rood, the world's most refined engines with new thick ram injection. Odyssey, the pig family of lures for trophy fish. Pinpoint Positioning Systems, a Brunswick company leading the network fishing revolution. Warden's Timber Tiger, the ultimate modern crankbait for shallow water. Ranger Boats, still built one at a time so you can fish hard, run strong, and rest easy. Shimano, Calcutta Reels, and Compre Rods, fish the best, fish Shimano. Strike King Lures, now with the Magnum King for pike and muskie. Tough Line, premium braided fishing line, 
To catch the big ones, you've got to get tough. Beckman Nets. When your trophy's on the line, depend on Beckman. Peterson Tackle. Maker of the Rattletail Inhaler Bucktails and Spinnerbaits. Up North, the official web provider for Simply Fishing and many outdoor activities. Please practice CPR, catch, photo, and release. The future of fishing depends on it. Reach us at Simply Fishing, Box 33, Hugo, Minnesota, 55038, or on the web at simplyfishing.com.